Hi, everybody. So, oh, maybe it's my computer that's a little slow. Excuse me. So we're going to talk about, Mia and I today, about a new project. We're going to talk about a little knowledge that we have about med beds and the fountain of youth. And basically projects are coming soon. So we're excited to chat about that too. So Mia, how are you? I am doing great. Thank you, honey. Yeah, beautiful day here. And the energy just feels so good to me. It feels like so much is shifting and stuff is being revealed that we've been waiting for. And I'm just feeling really excited and positive about everything right now. Me too. Yeah. The time is now. Flip the switch. That's my new little saying. Yeah, totally. Yeah. And I got inspired to share about um, the Jubilee and the Sarah today on Instagram and Substack. And, and then after I wrote that and put it out there, I saw that somebody was talking about the debt clock being zeroed out today um, for the debt, which seems like a sign. So it's just all lining up. Yeah. So much it's magic. Such good stuff. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So good. Yeah. So, so me and I have a uh, conversation coming up that we're gonna be doing live. And it's gonna be a Zoom where you can ask questions. And we're gonna talk about the fountain of youth. So I wanna talk about the med beds that are coming, but also we're using a lot of frequency medicine now, the two of us and many people that I know. And there's gonna be just more and more coming. So yeah. Um, and I, go ahead. Oh, yeah. I even saw something exciting today about someone's personal account talking to their dentist about that they had heard that they were going to start using stem cells to regenerate teeth. And he said, oh, yeah, it's true. Um, and it just seemed like a normal, you know, someone that wouldn't necessarily be having that conversation. So it's really just starting to shift and how we heal is shifting. And yeah, like Honey said, so there's so many of us have been kind of leading the charge and being the bridges to talk about this tech. We've had um, talks that, you know, my event Mercado Sagrado for years now about things like scalar wave technology and frequency medicine and, and devices for people to try and maybe starting maybe eight years ago or something. And it was like people, even me, it was so new, you know, then mm -hmm. just trying to wrap your brain around that. Um, and so it's so helpful to just have this time to even get used to um, those devices or learn about them or the language about all this stuff. What are, you know, how stem cells work, how frequency works. Just I'm starting to understand that everything is energy because as we move into these even more sophisticated devices where we're going, the med beds and med beds and this really high tech stuff that's been suppressed and, and even just frequency used on a very sophisticated level, which is what it mostly it, what it is. Um, it just helps to, to have time to catch up to it because it's so crazy. It's almost like going to seem like magic to most people that have used a Healy or been acquainted. So, and it could even seem a little like scary and just weird. So I feel like all this stuff we're working with now and these discussions, it's helping everybody to oh, okay. we move forward. Oh, is it freezing? Yeah, it froze just for a second. <laughs> But yeah, just to start to just, you know, when the when the stuff new the stuff that's coming that we know is coming comes out, we have like a framework for it and it won't seem scary. I mean, it's not scary to me at all. I'm like so excited. I'm happy to be one of the first people in the med beds. I'm I can't wait. Mm -hmm. Um, but but yeah, we've been having these these conversations about frequency medicine for a long time now. So yeah. Um, it's so good. And it's light or sound one or the other, you know, that's coming in. And I think with the med beds, it's going to be both. That's what I get about it, depending on the med bed that you're in. So we're going to show you just a little picture of the disclosure that has always seems to be happening in the movies. Yeah. So we know they show us everything in the movies. And I, I spoke with someone who told me that they were involved behind the scenes on setting up the new systems. Um, they felt very credible and they explained that the closest they've seen um, 
to the imagery that will be like the med beds is in this scene from um the black panther movie when they're in wakanda and if you've seen it it's when the cia guy gets shot and then they take him to wakanda and with this device that in the movie they call i think a med medical table or something maybe it says that um med table med table they heal his wound very quickly and he's like blown away <laughs> um and oh my gosh and this movie is just amazing if you haven't seen it i highly advise i advise you know go seeing this movie because there is so much disclosure in it that's really magical um the vibranium i was also told that's very real um there are the maglev trains in there um it's it's like a beautiful what we would think of as futuristic existence, but it's really just, they're using all the tech that's been hidden from us. Mm -hmm. so I love that movie. Yeah. Yeah. I can't wait to watch it. So, so some of the stuff that's come out just recently is all the stuff about the dyes and food. Yeah. And then on top of that, Mr. T was serving burgers the other day and fries at McDonald's and basically said, I heard that seed oils are really bad for you. And now they're going to be replacing that with tallow, he said. Now it could be coconut oil. It could be tallow. It could be, you know, different things, but we are going to have really good food in the future. And also yeah. in the United States. <laughs> Yeah, and it can just, be like yeah. <laughs> it's so I'm so excited. I mean, I that's what we use at home. I use tallow um or a mix of tallow and coconut oil to make fries. Um and I just I just, you know, for people who think that healthy food doesn't have to taste good, it can still be just as amazing. You know, we've always had so many amazing chefs and food vendors at Mercado Sargato events with all kinds of food, just the healthy high vibe version. So it doesn't take much to do that. It's just switching out the yucky components like the Yeah. Replacing the seed oils with tallow and mm -hmm. we're going to get factory farms are going to go away. Obviously nobody wants that. And <laughs> we're going to step away from that. And yeah, it's so exciting. I loved seeing that. Um, yeah, that was so funny. And so many disclosure moments happened during the fast food experience that we witnessed <laughs> so that was very fun uh, and yeah go ahead. I was gonna say, we also probably many of you here know there are other nefarious things going on with that institution oh yeah and so <laughs> you know people being in that food and I, that's not gonna happen that's not happening anymore either either obviously that's no. cleaned up. Mm -mm. and I think it you know like if you're gonna go and have food out it's probably going to be a mom and pop operation but it will be good food like the other day I had food out and I had a few of my fries even though it was a pretty like it was a pretty healthy restaurant I'm sure that they still were in seed oils and I definitely felt it the next day so it, yeah. it really is basically like eating plastic yeah, your body, it's what metal metabolic syndrome comes from. And it's why so many people are having problems with their weight in this country and health because your cell is so intelligent. It tries to protect you from that basically plastic. And then it ends up putting more um, like holding on to it. So it's like it's, it's actually the body trying to heal itself from the plastic fake food. So it's been so sad and it's so amazing. This stuff's going to shift. And if you see all this stuff that's on the mainstream, it's everything that's on the mainstream right now. I feel like it's it's there to be to shine a light on something. And then we also have to remember, like, probably many of us are also living kind of more healthy, you know, holistic lives. Maybe you have a homestead, but a lot of the American people are not. And so it's really helpful for them to have this conversation in relation to some relation to something like McDonald's, because that's what everybody knows. So yeah like about that institution necessarily, but it's using the language of the common man in our country and, well, and fast food, fast food, <laughs> sadly. Yeah.
Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So. So that's exciting. And we're going to be talking extensively about that in our talk, which we'll have below where you'll get to ask questions. So I'll be tuning in and Mia will be tuning in. And Mia also has some knowledge that she will be sharing that not everybody has um, because of someone she spoke to. So we will be talking about that. And then we're going to launch something else. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> yes. So yeah. Mia is agreed to come on board with me. We're going to do this project together. It's something I thought of a long time ago. And Mia is so knowledgeable with small business. I was like, do you want to do this with me? Because it's something I believe that a lot of the projects are going to be geared towards helping small businesses thrive in the future because nobody's going to do big business in the future. It's going to be very, very rare to have a huge business because money's not going to be a factor anymore. And people want to do things that matter. So we are yeah. launching yeah something to do with that and you tell me the name because you wrote it down <laughs> oh we're calling it creating our future now Con a conscious business council um and yeah i'm just so excited about this because it's kind of been my mission for the last decade um to just celebrate what's true on this earth and people that are creating the new world and creating things or, um, you know, whether it be an object, clothing, food, whatever, that's in alignment um, with our highest good. And that's beautiful. And that's, you know, Bercato Sagrado. My friend and I started that in 2014, I think. And so I've had the opportunity to work with so many inspiring makers and creators. And there, it's, it's really you know, there hasn't been a ton of support for that. And everybody that we've gotten to work with has been amazing in that most of them had figured out it all on their own and innovating and doing cool stuff. And, you know, it was always a dream to also be able to step up and help people more one-on-one, -on -one, whether it's to scale, um, even financially, what have you. And so this is a way to kind of, yeah, just make that dream kind of come alive too. And then as we move more into the humanitarian projects, there will be so much more abundance to spread around for people to create whatever they dream. So that's also just so exciting. So it feels just like the right time to, yeah. to um, yeah, birth this. Yeah. Yeah, I started a channel almost a year ago, another YouTube channel with the creating our future now attached to it and it's just kind of languished there and i feel like it's time to revive it to reintroduce it and i'll put it under in the description but we're going to be talking about small business so if you have a creation that you love then you may want to you know get involved in the website because we're going to be basically having people, you know, in a live Zoom. Or if you already have a small business, then you may want to contact us so that we can do an interview with you. Like either way, we would love to talk to you guys about it. Um, I know when all of this started with the first, you know, 2020 event, I was going to go into rehabbing furniture. That was going to be my business and it totally flopped. So then I went into this because that's what my soul wanted me to do. Mm -hmm. And that's what I was being pushed towards. And I'm like, can I just make pretty things? Like, <laughs> and do, you know, and I'm totally into making jewelry. Like, you know, these are some of my pieces. Um, just doing fun things. And that's the future. Doing something that you love whether you're creating a PDF or you're making a chair, we're going to want to share it with people. So 
that will be small business. That's the future of it. And it's going to be very artistic. Yeah. And I think also just if it's, I love talking about the kind of, sometimes it's basically better to be a little bit naive about something too, because often what we do is we get an inspiration and then the voice comes in. That's like, you don't know how to do that. What do you know about that? Who do you know that does that? And if we can get out of our own way, you know, and realize, no, if you have a calling to do something, often some of the most amazing things I, I can think of were created by people that didn't know what they were doing at all. And actually that kind of naivete like has helped them because if you don't know that it's not, not possible in your mind, you just create it. And so when I started doing events, I didn't know, I didn't know what I was doing. <laughs> and that was helpful mm-hmm. because even where we started doing Mercado Sagrado, I know, I know actually, and of course there's always divine alignment. So a close friend of mine that grew up with is a huge events person um, worldwide. And he was like, oh, I would have loved to do something there, but there aren't any venues. But we didn't know that. And we managed to find an amazing venue just starting out. So if you don't know about it, that doesn't mean it's not meant for you. And sometimes that's great. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) We need to just go on faith and just go into things. And I think that's going to become much easier because it definitely, the arts were suppressed in a huge way. And even if your art is like growing tomatoes, that's still an art. Maybe you're really good at it and you're growing all the different kinds of tomatoes and you're the tomato vendor, you know, like that's fabulous. People are going to, my husband will just sit at your booth and eat all the tomatoes. Like, so yeah. (laughs) Yeah. <laughs> there's so there's so many uh, yeah it, it, it's just whatever speaks to your soul and just believing in yourself and that what we're here to help in is I'm have just I'm an artist myself too I worked as a photographer I worked I've been a fine artist um I've had so many experiences and so many jobs I just went through so many different things I feel like so it could all feed into where I am now and how I can help people Mm -hmm. And I'm really good at strategy and seeing all the layers of culture and what people are already doing and kind of just like helping to shape things. And I just have a lot of these kinds of conversations with creatives already. Um, And then obviously, honey, you have an amazing small business and your intuitive gifts are so helpful at guiding people. And so I feel like we're just such a unique pairing because of because of our our backgrounds and our our gifts. Yeah, it's going to be so much fun. And I love the style that's like the style of it is going to be more organic in the future. And we're walking into it now, like a lot of people already have this style. And that's definitely what the website looks like, thanks to Mia. And we're going to be just cultivating that because I keep getting that it's going to be kind of like a kind of like one of your events, but like a big farmer's market in these towns that we live in. And it's not going to be every day, but it's still going to be probably three days a week that you'll be able to go and purchase things and do things. And that's going to be our main shopping experience. And if we want something really exotic, we're going to have to travel. We're going to have to take the train go get it, have a shopping day, come home. And that keeps popping in as the new reality. So I'm excited for that. Obviously there's steps in between, but when you're creating something, you don't think about all the steps. You just go, you just, you know your vision and you just keep working towards it. And that's what we wanna do is help people do that, including tuning into your business. Because you create your reality. So you're also creating your business and your business has a voice. And we'll yeah. do that. I feel like it kind of becomes its own entity once you create something like that and sometimes tells you where it wants to go. And then it's like a, an interesting conversation. Yeah. Yeah. And I think social media will be a thing for a while, but eventually that will be much different as well. So, yeah, I feel that too. Yeah. And that's also just, I think we've talked about this before, but just 
that think of like a an existence where there's such reverence for everything and everything is more magical because you know I have my coffee cup here and um you know I I know the woman who made this and you know I think of her and I just appreciate it every time I drink you know my tea or whatever and you know everything in my home is like that um and it really just makes life feel more special and then it's almost like you have your home you're just living kind of amongst art you know because even the utilitarian items they were all you know just produced with such love and intention and you know there's not going to be this plastic stuff from China that was created possibly by someone not having enough to eat you know that whole thing is going away we're moving into a space where the systems are no longer going to be weaponized against us so it's going to be this wholesome common sense kind of much more beautiful um world <laughs> yeah yeah it really and, yeah and and that too I think you know it's like kind of what we're going to be talking about our event too just the way that it's going to the natural world and earth aligned life is going to merge with um technology because again like nothing is going to be weaponized so we can live in these sort of you know, maybe beautiful handmade home, or maybe it was created with frequency and glass. So it's, you know, I think of those crystal bowls that were our melted down oh. crystal. Like, what if you lived in a house like that, that you got to design and, um, and then, but you do still have, you know, technology that's, that's um, aligned, you know, to the best for humanity. Maybe you do have like a little, I don't know, device or something that cleans for you, but it's not like the stuff now, you know, I don't have an Alexa or whatever those things are. I don't want that because that's yucky. That wasn't created for our good, but we're right. moving into the time where like, there's going to be stuff like that, that isn't yucky. So I just like thinking about that too, like a very earth aligned existence, but also super high tech where maybe I pop over to see honey through a portal or on a maglev train or in a flying car. I mean, that just sounds amazing to me. <laughs> well, and it's totally the future. Like, that's the future that we're coming into. And it's going to be so amazing. It's going to be like Star Trek meets the slow lane, you know, <laughs> of, oh, I just picked my potatoes or, you know, I just dug the potatoes up and we're going to have those for dinner. And in between, I went and took a portal, you know, went through a portal and picked up some rosemary <laughs> across, across the world, you know, like who knows how amazing it's going to get. We have to remember that this reality is our reality. And as humanity gets more and more aware of what we're actually doing, Everything's going to morph into being able to use all the things that have been hidden from us for so long. And they're going to be there with good intention. So I'm going to definitely say yes to the little machine that dusts my <laughs> walls and my, you know, cleans my floors and Anything that can help me with cleaning, I'm going to probably say yes to. And, you know, those kind of things, it's fun. Just let it be fun. Yeah. And if you love to do the dishes because it's meditative for you, then cool. You can still do them. But what if you have your whole family coming to stay and then maybe you want to use the little, little thing? You know what I mean? It's like we're going to get to create this however we want. Um, and I know before I fully realized like, oh, wait, nothing is going to be weaponized in this future. You know, for, for the first time I heard about replicators, I thought like, oh, well, yuck, I don't want that. Or I don't want the food, any food that comes out of that. But then, no, actually, well, how do I want it to be? I want it to be high vibe. What if it's working with frequency and creating mm -hmm. the most high version in the way that we manifest? And so this is actually how I was told how they, a version of them will work is if you might say, might not know what, the, um, you know, maybe I don't know about wine. Maybe I want a really high vibe organic wine from France, but I don't know anything about that. So I could manifest through the replicator to give me the most high vibe version of that. So it's kind of like us manifesting and then we can manifest these devices that do things for us in really amazing, beautiful ways. Mm -hmm. And then once you start kind of thinking in those terms, it's just amazing 
<laughs> and there's like no, you know, it's just so expansive. Sorry, go ahead. <laughs> No, I think that's great. I mean, you think about your car right now, you know, and how much energy has gone into that car being created. And most of us love our car, you know, whether it's a jalopy or not, like we're appreciating it. And, you know, I pre my car is not new, but it's not ancient either. And I love it because it gets me around and it has a name and you know, that's how your technology is going to be in the future. Mm -hmm. Just like uh, the Jetsons. Somebody shared this little picture of Rosie the robot cleaning the house. Mm -hmm. And I think eventually the house will be self-cleaning, but we may have something in between, you know. So just allowing for checking in with everything, seeing what is the intention behind that? Do I feel good about it? And remembering that we're, we're in the middle of ascending into a universe that is just made of love. And we're already in it. We just don't know it yet because our consciousness hasn't allowed us to see it completely. Yeah. Um, and it's starting to happen more and more. I mean, I shared the most amazing, um, it was a photo and then a video taken on two different days this week um, by someone who lives in my community. And it was of showing to two moons. And it was so fun to hear them talking yeah. in the video. And apparently they tried to wake their their partner up, their wife up. And, and it was like two in the morning and she was not interested. But he was just having this moment of like, oh my gosh, why no one else is seeing this? And it's so fun. And he was excited about it. And that's what's happening is things are just shifting so fast. It's so fun. It's really yeah. exciting. Um, and then yeah just thinking about all the like ways that we're going to benefit from this shift I mean I have so many people that talk you know wonder about like the environment and chemtrails and things like that but you guys like there's everything available to us we have so much high technology it's so easy when things aren't suppressed to heal help heal the earth help take the plastics out of the ocean um you know, chemicals out of the environment, I don't see things like that being a problem at all or difficult to Very solve. Quick. Yeah. And um, yeah, I don't know if you want to speak to about that. I know it's sort of off topic, but I feel like there's all this weather happening and people constantly ask me like, well, I see chemtrails. Like, are you worried about that? And I feel like the weather it's rebalancing, but we've had geoengineering our whole lives. I mean, for a very long time right so they can't just stop doing that yeah and right now i feel like so all the parallels are together right now so we're seeing some of the not so great stuff we're seeing some that's partially from the earth like we have a very mixed bag right now mm -hmm. but it will be kind of a slower introduction to what I see as basically a terrarium mm -hmm. that we're going to be in and the terrarium is already there and there's so much more oxygen beyond where we're at and that's starting to seep in I feel like and also look at the weather like when it comes to the winters are not as harsh even if the farmer's almanac says that it's going to be terrible, like they were not terrible last year, it will not be terrible this year, depending on where you are, but in general. And I just feel like things are starting to shift already. And we're going to notice our oxygen content starts to go up. Like we're going to feel more energized as things move forward. And also we're going to have more trees. So, yeah, a lot of things are going to shift over time and it's going to be not just our bodies healing, but also the earth healing. And I do believe that we're on a track that's absolutely amazing. Yeah. 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 It's so exciting. I mean, 
all so many things at once. But yeah, like how California is regreening. The water is returned because they were keeping it dry. Um, mm -hmm. It's rebalancing. And the Sahara has water. It's rebalancing. It's not supposed mm -hmm. to be a desert. I mean, we can see all this happening. And it's it's kind of wild because that's a big change. But it's it's all beautiful. And I get that, too, that we're moving into like more of a terrarium um and and also like with the whole trees if we think how it used to be it's like it used to be on the earth like that there used to be the giant trees beings were bigger and the tartarian cities everything was constructed for the good of the earth and of humanity like all the cities everything was constructed to support higher frequencies to support more ether to support more oxygen Mm -hmm. um all the tech was in alignment everything was beautiful and harmonious and also life-giving and obviously and the earth's um grids were totally intact so they were helping too and when the vision i had a few years ago it was i was told that the the grids are being restored so it's like are, we're talking about this technology and this healing and that we're learning you know remembering who we are and how to heal ourselves but also like we're stepping into a time where just all of our environment is going to be more harmonious and more aligned mm -hmm. and we're going to build that way too. So imagine it's just like, feels better just to wake up and to be, it's just going to feel so much more high vibe. It's going to be, we're going to be just healthier with ease without even doing anything because of all that. Cause that's all pretty big deal. <laughs> that, 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 that like just energy in our environment shifting. Um, it's a huge deal. It's going to be so, and it's already happening. You can feel it already happening, but that's the foundation that we're creating for ourselves. And we're creating it because we agreed to create it. Yeah. So it's a yeah. super exciting time here on <laughs> planet earth. <laughs> it's so exciting. Yeah. I'm just like, we have like, Two phones coming. We have a new internet coming. We just have like so many exciting. Um, I mean, all of it. It's just I feel like I'm constantly like, wow, what, what do I even? We don't even know what we don't. We don't know what we don't know. Still, even those of us were like on the leading. If you're here listening to this, you're on the leading edge. We're really like dreaming into this and creating this at the edge. But mm -hmm. even us, it's like I don't even know what I don't know. There's so much more even, and I don't even think. My, I can comprehend how amazing and how magical it's going to be and what it's going to feel like when we're totally in this new earth world where all the systems are harmonious for us. You know, the animals are happier, the plants are happier, everything is just thriving. Um, it's just like amazing. <laughs> it is amazing. And it's really happening right now, like in front of our eyes. And we're growing along with it. We keep expanding and growing. So I'm so excited for the future. I'm really excited for our talk. I think that's going to be really good. And the things that people bring up are going to be really helpful to everybody. And get ready for abundance, you guys. It's coming. So start feeling it now. Start feeling it in your body. And training your nervous system to be happy excited and feeling like you have everything that you need I just wanted to put that in there yeah no that's really important um yeah and it's yeah it's like this constant process right now of deprogramming and reprogramming and strengthening our nervous system um and it's like some of what we're going to get into with the the talk as well um because we want to release any of limiting beliefs around all the things that kept us in this sort of slavery system that kept us from really feeling our sovereignty. And that, I mean, it's every aspect of our, our lives, including, of course, our vitality and our health. And um, we're constantly have in this system have been programmed to work against our own vitality and health and expect, not expect the best, basically. Yeah. So we just want to flip the script on that and really kind of like out all of that, the ways, little ways we're doing that. I got inspired partially just from starting to observe people around me and how they spoke about themselves. And I was like, mm -mm, like, we want to be loving ourselves. We want to be talking about things getting better um, in regard to our age, our vitality, what we're capable of, all of that stuff. 
Um, and then of course there's the technological aspects too, but all, all of it, it's all important. It all goes together. Mm -hmm. Totally does. Totally yeah. does. Thank you so much, Mia. This was beautiful. Yeah. I hope everybody enjoyed it and we hope to see you guys in whatever way that you want to show up. Okay. All right. Thank, Thank you, you, honey. Yeah. Thank you guys. You. So fun. Bye. Bye.